everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sharmila Rajkumar and thank you so much for clicking on to this video. In today's video, we are going to be testing out a beauty sponge which is pretty affordable and an Indian brand as well. So the sponge that I'm talking about is from Colorbar. This is in the black shade. I'm sure they have another shade as well, but I, I'm not sure which shade was that. It is called Color Bar Blend Etude Beauty Sponge. And on the back of their packaging, it says an edgeless, non-disposable, high-definition cosmetic sponge. It is designed to create an ultra-smooth, flawless finish with every foundation, cream, blush, and concealer. Here, they are talking about the butt of the sponge. Um, the the large rounded surface area ensures a quick application while the contour tip offers precision here i don't agree with because it is not that you know sharp it is pretty bulky there as well and then they have said how to use and all that you just simply wet this and um, take off the excess water and you're good to go so up next we are going to be uh, wetting the sponge and see if it absorbs and we're gonna put all the makeup so please continue watching so guys this is how the packaging is i got this in the color black so you want to sort of uh, tear this it is like a ziploc case so you can store your sponge here so initially it feels a little latexy and i do not see any pores i think this sponge would not absorb any product now i'm gonna wet this sponge and see if the size or the texture changes It definitely became a little more bigger but the texture is still like very latexy so it's not as smooth as the other sponges this is my other sponge that I have you see how oh, you see how squishy this one is and this is like slightly you know you want to feel this to get this you know it's like really easy but it is like a little bit harder not little bit it's very very hard to you know squish it up but that's not a problem for me but i want to see how this performs now that our skin is nicely prepped i'm gonna move on to the foundation for foundation i'm gonna mix my usual combo maybelline uh, maybelline super stay 24 hour foundation and maybelline fit me foundation in 330 and I'm gonna take the butt of my sponge and I'm gonna blend it. Yeah, as I thought, it is not at all absorbing any product and it does not leave any sponge marks in your face and it pretty much blends everything seamlessly as you can see and it gives you more coverage as well I feel like. So this sponge is pretty amazing except the fact that this is like little bit little bit harder but that's the point right and it feels more satiny also it doesn't feel like a porous sponge it feels like more satin and smooth i'm loving it already next step we are going to be moving on to a concealer for concealer i'm going to use la girl pro conceal in pure beige And we are going to use this part of the sponge which is a little bulky uh, I don't know whether it would work in the inner corners but we'll see works really well with concealer as well as you can see it is not absorbing much product so you get you know maximum uh, pigmentation so next step we are going to be highlighting our face for that I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me in 25 medium. So far so good I'm pretty pretty happy with this sponge the only thing I'm finding is you have to like hold this uh, even harder to you know squish it to get your under eye next step we are going to be setting our face for setting my face i'm going to use the usual maybelline fit me loose powder in 25 medium so i'm going to pick some powder with the tip of the sponge and just like that and i'm going to tap the excess on the back of my hand 
and then I'm just gonna press the powder to set everything in place. Yes, it sets the face pretty well as well. Oh my god, I found the holy grail, I feel like. See the skin, you guys. It's flawless. I'm gonna take this Zivana palette and I'm gonna take this contour shade and I'm gonna pick some in my sponge like that. And we're just con gonna contour our face. I'm just uh, squishing the sponge like this and I'm working so that the product doesn't move everywhere. As you can see, it deposited the product really well. No patchiness, no patchiness, no patchiness, no blotchiness whatsoever. The product is settled down. Girl. So I'm gonna use this sponge and try and contour my nose. I don't know how well that would go. I'm just gonna pinch like this and I'm gonna contour like this. We'll see how that works. Mmm, not bad, huh? And I'm gonna turn the sponge and blend everything out. As you can see, it gave me that snatched nose as well. Wow. <laughs> Next up, we are going to be moving on to our blush. For blush, I'm going to use my favorite, okay? Kalabar Cheek Illusion Blush. Kalabar, Kalabar, it should work. So, we'll see how this works. So, for blush, I'm going to use the butt of the sponge again. And I'm just going to pick some product. Ooh, that's a little too much. And I'm going to smile and push the product in. Of course, it gave that wash of color that you ever need and it does not absorb any product, which is amazing. So next, we're going to be highlighting. For highlighter, I'm going to use the same palette, same Zivana palette. And I'm going to pick this highlight shade, which is one of my favorite. So I'm going to take this tip of the sponge again and I'm going to squish it. Pick some. And I'm going to highlight. So I think it gives me the subtlest highlight ever. It's not beaming, it's, it just makes the highlighter more subtle and more within kind of glow. Which is not bad if you're going for such looks. But I definitely feel like it is reducing the beamingness of the highlighter, if, that, if that's even a word. Wow. The video is turning out as I wished it to be. <laughs> when I see an affordable sponge, I really, really get excited and I really wish it would work. But it definitely, definitely works. Which makes me so happy. So guys, I'll finish off my eyes and lips and I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm back with my makeup. So I bought this Nykaa Mac to Last Mini Lipstick in the shade Madras Coffee. If you're wondering. And I went pretty neutral with my makeup so that you can see my base very clearly so now we'll move on to the pros and cons of this color bar beauty sponge so i'll start with the good things first so we are going to be starting out with pros pro number one this product is very 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 affordable it's deadly affordable it's for like 175 to 200 on amazon and the exact price is 199 which is like 200 rupees but you easily easily get this like for 175 to 160 even 150 in Naya, in Nykaa and Amazon so that's pretty amazing so pro number two is that it does not absorb much product actually it does not absorb any product it's like tiny tiny amount of product has been absorbed because it's a sponge it has to absorb some product but it's way, 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 way lesser than the usual sponge and it's not that porous and it feels more velvety if you know what I mean, it's not that porous. So that's a good thing so that it does not absorb your makeup 
and you end up using much lesser product which is saving your products as well so pro number three is it's pretty easy to wash as well you just have to use soap and you just have to squish the product and your sponge is brand new it does not absorb more product the product is not going deep inside the sponge so it is very easy for you to clean this as well so pro number four it works very well with with cream liquid and powder products which is supremely amazing because the sponge which works with uh, liquid does not work with work with cream and powder and vice versa but this sponge works really well with all type of products which is like life savior so that's the pro number four and pro number five you can actually store the sponge in this ziplock case um, it's not that sturdy though but if you want your sponge to not get dirty please save this packet and put the sponge back in there so the packaging is pretty good so yeah that's the five pros that i can tell you so we'll move on to the cons now con i don't feel like it does have any like major cons but however i have to say that the sponge is pretty hard to hold and it is it feels extremely latexy it works really really well but it feels much latexy if you know what i mean um and then if you want to squish the sponge or anything you have to like squish it really hard no it's not as easy as this sponges which is like boop it's not like that you have to put in your pressure and after a few minutes it starts to it starts to ache here so that's one con and con number two which i found is it's not as uh, pointy as you get in other sponges it's like bulky here as well so that it's slightly hard to you know go into these areas so you have to squish it again if you squish your hands are gonna ache and so i just found that as a con other than that i pretty much love this sponge and i would highly suggest this for beginners and college um college students or someone like me who don't like to spend more on their sponge so it is pretty good and it gave a flawless finish to my makeup what else you can ask for so this is pretty good and i highly 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 suggest this sponge so that's it guys with this i complete this video and if you like this video please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and that would mean the world to me so yeah i'll meet you guys in my next one until next time bye guys